So I've been debating telling you guys about what happened at the pool. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. What are we going to go do before it gets too hot? Build our tram. We're going to go try to set up the tram because it's be 106 again today. Barf. My nephew and niece are in town from Maryland. And they're going to come play with us this morning. And I want to be the finance. So I'm going to go pick up donuts. So you go set up the tramp. I'll go get donuts. And then we'll meet in the backyard. Deal? Deal. Put it in. Best friends on three. One, two, three. Best, Best friends. friends. I just got home, and look, he's already got that much done. Oh my gosh, all right, all right. Okay, now what? Look at my face, it's already oh, he's, he's already it's glistening, like, do you want me to get some water? It's 8.40. Oh gosh. And Beckham's made a spaceship. Okay. Okay. Palmer, come here, Palmer, come here. Palmer, what's going on? Oh, he's home. I wanna see. We got a big surprise. Don't look, open. Twitter. Oh my gosh, they're twins. You guys are so cute. So cute you guys are. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Sugar coma already this morning? Palmer, who is here with you today? Our Ellie Mae and our Mac. Hi. These are our cousins from Maryland and they're gonna spend the day with us today. So I think we got the tramp done just in time. And we have plenty of donuts. And let's check on dad on the tramp. Look at me, I'm literally half sweat running down my face. Yeah. It's done, it's done, it's done! Woo. Are you guys so excited? Palmer, what did we get? I'm gonna do now. Did we get a trampoline? Yeah. Because who won the trampoline? Me. If you guys did not see Peyton win this trampoline, go back and watch our last vlog. It was so exciting. Yeah. Seriously, I think I was maybe a little bit more excited than the kids. Each kid is gonna show us their favorite trick and then we are gonna go in and play with cousins. Let's see it. Might be the exact same, but I don't know. Okay. Whoa! I want to wow. the landing. Wow, wish I didn't have a wide lens for that one. Jay Becker's up. Freaking me out. Okay, please bless we do not. Oh, wow, oh, you guys. Okay, you wanna go next? You wanna go next? The kids are in their swimsuits. They're gonna jump out here with the sprinkler under it for a little bit, and then we have some more fun we're going tonight. Oh, stop, turn it off, turn it off. Oh, okay, let's try this again. Come a little further away. Oh, it's gonna be a fun summer! Woo! We're so excited because we are gonna go tonight with some of our good friends. rented out all of our aquatic center and he invited us to come tonight we're really excited there's not a lot of people here like 125 this place holds 800 people let me show you we've never been here with this little people this is fantastic and you know rocky's excited ew don't eat those those are dirty rocky you want to go get in the water <gasps> let's do it <laughs> Oh! 
So I've been debating telling you guys about what happened at the pool. And it's hard because 99% of you guys are seriously family. We love you all so much. And there's a few that are brutal. <laughs> and so it was almost like I don't want to tell them what happened because of that. But we have decided to not let a couple judgmental people control what we do here at Team Hour. And last week you guys were unanimous with wanting us to be honest with our real life with you guys. So here's one of those moments. I was sitting with Rocky. Me. Not even one of the kids. I was sitting with Rocky. He was sitting in between my legs and I was blowing up his floaty thing. And all of a sudden he just like, well bam Out of nowhere he just like folds in half. And he's done it two other times, but it's always been on the couch or on my bed. And so I've been like, oh, it's fine. But it's like all of a sudden he musters all the ab strength in the world and he just like karate chops himself in half. He's still like uber flexible as a baby, right? Just straight right onto the cement, just lamb. And I freaked out. I like pick him up. He's okay. His nose is swollen. It's scraped up. It's just right where he hit it. So like maybe the top of the slip in his nose. If you look back closely, scroll back a couple minutes, happened right before he was playing in that water. So you can tell his nose area is all scraped up. So he's sleeping right now where I would show you. To be completely honest, I was planning like 10 minutes ago just to kind of like, maybe just not put Rocky in the videos till it heals because imagine my, my situation being here and getting alerts for the comments on the videos. Like sitting in your home, in your safe place, trying to be a mom and you get mean things said to you. It's the same as someone just texting you, random people you don't know, texting you comments, mean comments on your phone. Because that's how it shows up, just as a notification, right? So I was thinking of just putting him down and just not even telling you guys, but this is real life. He's pretty scratched up. We stopped on our way home and I grabbed ibuprofen because that will help with the swelling of his nose. I put Aquaphor on it and then every time I nurse him during the night, I'm putting Aquaphor every couple hours during the day. And I think I can get this healed up in a couple days. I am feeling like mother of the year. I feel horrible about it. I really do. I mean, that's what I should have done. I should have sat on the grass. It's just not something you think your child's gonna do. There, I mean, that's an excuse. I, I was in the wrong. I am the protector of my children. I love my children more than anything. So I will not be doing that again. Kind of put a damper on my heart. You never like to see your babies hurt, right? Never, ever want to see your babies hurt. I was thinking about how as a mom, you never want to see your babies hurt. And instead of feeling sad, I was trying to view the positive of the situation. And I realized it could have been worse. He didn't break his nose. I would have rather it be me than one of my kids. Like what if Peyton had been holding him and that had happened? At least now I know like really what happened. I'm just trying to view the positive in the situation and say he's gonna be okay. This is real life, this happens. And, and I'm just grateful it wasn't worse. I had a close friend one time and she was telling me about a time that her child fell out of the shopping cart. And now she used that as her gauge, not to make light of it, but she used to say like, okay, is this better or worse than falling out of a shopping cart? And so then another friend was like, well, my kid ate bird poop. So now when my kid eats something gross, I'm like, mm, better or worse than bird poop. And it's funny how as a parent, you kind of like gauge that. So I wanna hear from you guys. 
What are the things that, that you gauge your children's accidents off of? Better or worse than bird poop? Is it better than worse than hitting your head on cement? Better or worse than falling out of a shopping cart? I want to hear from you guys. What are some of your experiences? So besides that, it was an awesome day. We're excited about the tramps. Here it is, real life, the good, the bad, the ugly. And I would say today was 99% good. And those are the kind of days we're shooting for. So. so here we are living on purpose, trying to change the negative to the good, living our lives. And we are grateful that you are here for the journey with us. And we will see you tomorrow.